Hello, so this is a one handicap game uh, from IGS between 8Q and 8Q+. Plus. White won uh, by quite a large margin, 56 points. He managed to kill a few stones in the center, but also build all the left side in a very peaceful way. Kind of uncontested. So anyway, let's see what went wrong for black. So the game starts quite normal. Actually, the Komoku at Q3 it's a little bit questionable because if White takes the empty corner, which is a very normal way to uh, start a game, Black will attack either Q5 or R5. So this would be two stones against one on the right side, and it's already towards Black's advantage to open the game like that. Anyway, White is playing aggressively, so he plays a Kakari right away in the top right corner. And Black reacted locally, which is fine, but Black can also go for the empty corner. So now Black has two corners and a half against one and a half of White. So this way, Black has a slightly better start. So Black should consider taking the third corner. Now, locally, this is fine. And White usually should extend to space jump to M17. This is a better way to set up a base. Now white can also go back to take the empty corner after the exchange in the top right, where black can approach once on the lower corner and then play a pincer in the top or make a shimari or simply attack the other corner in order to develop faster. Now when white plays this kind of game, uh, this leaves black two options uh, two choices to attack the top. One is to play the kick at Q17. Now, if white simply goes up or down, sometimes just descend, most of the time just no B, uh, black is happy to attack from the top, K16. In this case, white ends up uh, over-concentrated. Now, when uh, black plays the kick in the top, white can also ignore and extend K17 or J17 and then black can continue under at p18 to grab a very nice corner and still uh, attack white's group but black also has another option to to attack here coming all the way at l17 this looks pretty good for um, the the top left corner to to extend to the middle of the side and in the same time attack uh, white's base so if white wants to fix a base he needs to slide then black can extend on the base uh, on the right side and later uh, still attack the, the top right by playing uh, n18. Now if white plays the, the kick, this helps uh, black a little bit, get stronger and white's formation is still rather over concentrated. So white still needs to slide or jump out. Then again, black can uh, develop very nice both in the top right corner and the top side. So it's important for black to remember the ways to attack this formation, either L17 or kick Q17. Uh, taking the empty corner is also a, a big point, but it just allows white to uh, get away unpunished for his uh, shape in the top right. Now white attacks the, the top left corner this is a, a cautious way to invade or approach the corner. White usually should just uh, play c16. Let's say white plays here, black attaches, Hane, pull back, extend, black extends too, and now white fix the top. So this would be a very light uh, way for white to develop. Now again, white is playing this uh, Kema instead of a two space jump. So once again, this is the, the way to make a base. Then black can attack here or proceed in the top. Now in this case, black can approach all the way to C11. This is the most natural move because from C11, if you just uh, consider white ignore, then the follow up is to Kema and take away the base completely. So this group it's on the run. And while uh, white is going out, black will just grab territory while attacking. So when black comes all the way to C11, uh, white has to come out with a cap 
or a jump in the center but either way for black it's quite easy to develop on the top side and the left side while attacking the, the heavy group so it's good to remember uh, c11 in this case now j17 looks very good uh, in conjunction with e16 but it's a bit far away from n16 so in, in this case it's still better to play l17 to be more active so many times uh, one has to choose the the right spot according to the other stones on the board or to the given situation but luckily if we just uh, discard the the stones in the the top right this formation looks really nice for black so white plays a big point uh, but here for white it's more interesting to come from the left side <clears throat> and extend back so like this uh, white is going for a moyo on the left well white is trying to be active attack from both sides uh, this move is playable but it doesn't even have to be that close c9 would work a little better with d13 and black should just go down anyway when this happens uh, let's see what black played the attach black is supposed to play d2 this way uh, black encloses the corner in three moves those are like 15 points in the corner this area three multiplied by five here and uh, white's uh, f3 is still thin so white needs to extend back either j3 or j4 and this way when black uh, protects the corner at d2 leaves white's position kind of weak so when white extends j4 j3 black can invade the left side if white protects the left side black can invade the bottom playing this attach uh, can help white a little bit in fact it's a kick uh, kosumitsuke now the proper way for black is to jump out e6 with e6 this formation will uh, secure the corner there is no more sun sun invasion here working for white we can have a look in a moment and then after black comes out he's got two options to continue either uh, attack the bottom j3 j4 around this spot to take away white's extension or invade the left side at c10 so now if white uh, extends on the bottom black can go on the left side if white defends the left side black can attack the bottom so this creates me eye on the other hand uh, if white invades the corner at c3 black can just descend and kill the corner invasion because playing uh, e6 prevents the cut at d d6 so white can only peep here but it doesn't help and now when white is trying to make eye shape with b2 black will reduce the space and luckily is dead unconditionally there is no call most of the time a call fight can happen in a sun sun but in this case black is super strong so it's fine to, to fight this way if there is no stone at e6 so black plays l3 like it happened in the actual game uh, white can evade c3 well it doesn't have to happen right away but luckily white has this option and if black resists white can slide push and cut so now it's a bit tougher for black to confine and kill that group in the corner that's why it's good to have the jump at e6 so this is a good formation to remember actually let's remove these marks and this and put a a and b these are the meite points so now for white instead of playing entry which is a fine option uh, white can think about j3 to make a base for his two stones when black approaches the corner white takes the shimari this would be a more natural way now white can also think about d5 and sun sun invasion to get some profit in the corner first like this white is shrinking the corner and then attack at j oops j3 and make the shimari so when white plays j3 he's actually inducing the shimari at uh, r5 which is just uh, fine so white attacks from the other side then like this uh, white stones get weak this f3 so normally white should just jump out either one space or two space 
this is a light way to escape. Well, I can still use the attach and then uh, enter the corner, Hane, also attach here and go up. This is another way to make a sabaki or to reinforce his uh, weak stones. So I decided to play the Kosumi. Black pushes, very good. Now this move uh, leaves some cutting points, so I can still play the one space jump to defend a bit lighter. Black pushes, that's fine. But playing Atari here is actually wrong. Uh, it's better to play the Atari from the other side and then extend. Because now when white goes Atari at e4, black can give up that stone. So it's not a problem to, to lose e5 after playing the Atari. And white still needs to protect the left side. Then black has an easier fight in the center this way. So when black plays this Atari and then extend, good decision for white to go out. But the thing is, white can always play Atari at e4 to test uh, black's uh, defense here. So when black connects and white captures one stone, white already connected to the left side, but in the same time he's also out in the middle. Now if black wants to keep the pressure on the bottom group, Black needs to connect d5, but white will capture one stone in sente on the bottom, threatening the corner. So this gives white some eye shape. White also has the clamp and then Atari and then go out between the groups. So white has a, an advantage in this fight for sure. Well, it's a good idea for white to, to come out like this, leaning on the uh, bottom stones and then chase those three heavy stones in the middle. Honey, it's a natural move too. So normally black should just extend here, but then it's, it gets uh, tougher for the stones in the middle. So now black is trying to escape there. And white could play Atari right away to surround the bottom group. And before white does that, white can also play the Atari here. Because in uh, most cases, uh, black would just give up one stone to keep the corner safe and sound and then White has some kind of insurance being connected through a code E5. Then this Atari is quite painful. So the position it's pretty tough for black already. Anyway, white defended the left side on the fifth line to, to build more territory. But in this case it's possible because the stones are quite uh, strong on the left and the formation looks promising. Besides, white is also one step ahead of uh, G9. So black is still on the run. Anyway, good decision to, to go out here at M5. So white made some nice shape, but again, the Atari here would be a good ASCII move or a probe. Anyway, this is a proper defense and black is still on the run. Uh, this move is fine, but it's more urgent for black to come out in the center. On the bottom, uh, black can put pressure with a Kema and a Nobi. Then again, jump in the middle because that group really needs help but luckily on the right side q5 it's a good decision hane and connect that's all good well why doesn't need another move in this area because he already got entry in place so i can invade the right side that's a nice decision because normally that's the the point where uh black wants to extend so if white slides black will get r11 and it's an ideal shape on the right side so this invasion point makes sense. Now white can extend uh, R9, uh, sorry R8 to threaten the connection underneath and uh, try to get a little base and then jump out. This way uh, black can still take away the base so white it's on the run. Uh, this Kosumi it's a move to prevent the connection at S11 but why should think about an attach either at S13 or S9. So in this case, if black simply blocks, white can uh, attach again. Now black is over concentrated and then white will jump out one more time. This is a much uh, lighter way to defend. White's defense uh, feels a little bit heavy uh, with this Q10. 
So now finally the attack in the top right. Well, uh, it's possible to play M17. It's also okay to play the kick and then approach M17 and go down. But a nice idea to attack the two stones and then try to separate them from P11. So black has to go down, that's a good decision. White slice to expand his uh, ice space. And here black should consider S18. Now if white simply pulls back, black will go S17 and this gives more space for black in the corner and less space for eye shape for white in this case. So white has to turn or jump out. The thing is, uh, if white cuts S17, black can use the Tesuji at Q18. So when white pushes, black will just capture. Therefore, white has to play Atari T18 to stay alive in the corner. Now black can go down, then pull back and connect. And now white has to live in the corner. And this way white gets separated in the top, so black will keep attacking. So this way uh, white has a problem with the three stones in the top and also the group on the right side. It's rather uh, weak. So black can set up a splitting attack. The turn is a fine option. Black doesn't have to block right away because this turn is not threatening the two stones in the top directly. They are connected to, to J17. So black can just jump out or try a split, a jump here to separate the top from the right side. Now when black plays the block, white will honey and double honey was too much, just no B. And then of course white will jump out to connect to the right. Playing the double hane, uh, white can cut and capture two stones. So this actually happened in the game. And now white fixes his base in the top. And for black it's quite hard to uh, use the thickness of uh, K15 in the center. Well this attack is natural but black should still jump out and fix the other three stones. White doesn't have to connect that stone. Uh, white can play a shoulder hit here to uh, threaten to, to reduce the top. Then when black defends, uh, white can cap or peep here and then start uh, a double attack. Actually still good for white to, to play Atari E4. This is the theme of the game. So connect. Uh, black protects the right side, but the way to fix this group is to play S18. Anyway, black is going to leave there, so again, black should go out in the middle. If white plays S18, black can make eye shape at S15. And if white attacks from uh, S12, black can block S18. Then when white jumps, black can just capture the top stone, so black is alive in the top right corner. Therefore, it was a little bit slack. To, to defend again and kind of jump on neutral points. White jumps too, that's a good decision. Uh, finally, black is coming back to, to save these guys. But a one space jump one way or the other would help uh, better. So white tries to separate. That's a good decision to go between the stones. And jump again. Well, he can top it's really bad, so simply one space jump and black is connected. Good decision to block d3 and block again, keep the corner. Now, in order to protect the bottom group, uh, black should play a shoulder hit at o3, then also q4, threatening to cut at r3, so white either connects solid or connects p3. Then jump again in the center to stay connected. This is a proper way to defend. Now this schema, uh, it's not really needed because black was already pretty much connected. Cut is good. Now in order to keep safe in the center, uh, black should play no B. Then when white captures, black plays the double Atari or a counter Atari and then pulls back. Now this way, Black keeps everything connected in the middle. So there's nothing to worry about losing those stones in the center. So this is all safe. 
well, like this black has to give up a few points in the top area, but the, the group in the middle is safe. So white is giving up a one stone bait at f14 and then cuts the center. Uh, the second Atari is no need. It's better for white to keep this Atari as cotrets because later on maybe white wants to use this Atari and then another Atari from behind. And if black goes out, he's got this Atari. And this way, uh, white has more cotrets in that area. So now, cut in the center. This was quite uh, painful. And actually, uh, after white managed to cut these guys in the middle, the game is pretty good for white and it's really hard for black to come back. Hmm, double Atari. So for black to play Atari here, oops, and then push again, it's a better option, but still black needs to protect against the cuts in the center. So like this black is not going to lose too many stones, but already black lost plenty. So it's going to be a hard uh, game. Well, uh, black is not going to lose by 50 points, but still, uh, white has the first chance to win this game. So this double Atari just uh, got uh, more profit. Uh, white can Atari here too, and then capture the stone. So this way, the L14 stone is separated also. Here I can think about the attach, then bump. So when black pushes and cuts, it's not such a big problem because of the uh, cut in the center. So this way, actually, uh, white captures few more stones in the middle. <clears throat> white is playing a bit conservative, feeling ahead, I guess. Well, uh, black can just connect solid here. What else? The suji like this. To reduce some uh, points in the corner. Uh, also, black can connect this stone, but white will push and then catch another stone in the corner. I mean, on the side. This is center, very good. The cut. This push in the corner is also pretty big. Now, white can also play Kosumi in the top left. So it prevents uh, black's Kosumi at B16. Mm, this attach doesn't reduce so much. It's better to play O2. If white goes down, black separates. If white plays uh, O2, black can push one time or pull back and connect. But the push works fine because uh, black can go up, then cut. <clears throat> and now black has me between taking the corner or the two stones. So white needs to connect under like this, which is rather painful because black can also use this cut and then go down. And if uh, white connects uh, like this, black will capture the corner and then also kill the other stones. So this would be a disaster for white. Everything dies. Therefore, black had the Tesuji at O2 to damage more. <coughs> Sorry. So now we see some small endgame moves. But at this stage, uh, black should already consider resignation. Black is still in danger on the right side. I mean, top right corner. And we have a co fight, but it shouldn't happen. Black can just jump here to keep eye shape. Now, fighting this call, white just got uh, more profit. Yeah, normally black has to protect here at d17 and continue the co fight. Uh, let's see a big cut threat at this stage. Nothing is that big actually. Even if black takes the, the top left corner, losing the top right will be 
big enough. But now black has to continue and eliminate the core. Ah, oh, that's right. Hmm, it's bigger to play Kosumi at b7 and continue in center on the first line. Capturing one stone here is just uh, two points, but he's got it right now. Also, e18 is big to prevent white center. White played everything in center. Atari and connect works. <coughs> Why doesn't have to go down like this? Um, a jump like p14 is better. Trying to catch more stones in the middle. So not much is happening from this stage of the game, but there is no way for, for black to come back. Uh, why did I have to do anything here? Just push and connect when Atari protect. Because playing F2, it's a gote for, oh, it was center for one point, <coughs> but it was supposed to be gote. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video.